The Ethiopian Rift Valley, particularly the Afar region, is one of the most geologically active areas in the world. This region sits at the meeting point of three tectonic plates, the African, Arabian, and Somali plates. The interactions between these plates make the area highly susceptible to earthquakes and volcanic activity. Current volcanic eruption in the Afar region. Recent reports indicate increased volcanic activity in the Afar region, specifically near Mount Dofan in the Dulecha district. This activity follows a series of seismic events recorded in late 2024, including earthquakes with magnitudes of up to 5.1. These tremors, coupled with observed steam and ash emissions, suggest that the volcano is entering an eruptive phase. Key Developments Increased Seismic Activity Dozens of earthquakes have been recorded in the region, a common precursor to volcanic eruptions as magma moves through the Earth's crust. Eruption Signs Visible steam and debris have been observed emanating from Mount Dauphin, along with reports of ash clouds and ground swelling in the surrounding areas. Evacuations and safety measures, local authorities, including the Ethiopian Disaster Risk Management Commission, have initiated evacuations to protect residents from potential hazards, such as lava flows, ashfall, and toxic gases. Geological Context The Afar region is part of the East African Rift System, a tectonic plate boundary where the Earth's crust is being pulled apart. This process creates fractures and allows magma to rise to the surface, resulting in volcanic activity. The region also contains several other active and dormant volcanoes, making it a hot spot for geological research. Impacts and Risks Human Impact Evacuations are underway to safeguard communities living near the volcano. However, displaced populations may face challenges, including access to shelter, food, and medical care. Environmental Impact Ashfall and lava flows could damage farmland water sources and ecosystems. Air quality may also be affected by volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide. Global Significance the eruption underscores the dynamic nature of the Earth's geology and provides valuable insights into tectonic and volcanic processes. Preparedness and Monitoring Authorities and geological experts are closely monitoring the situation using seismographs, satellite imagery, and field observations. Residents are being advised to follow safety protocols and stay informed through official channels. This volcanic eruption highlights the importance of understanding and preparing for natural disasters in geologically active regions like the Ethiopian Rift Valley. The East African Rift Valley is one of the most geologically fascinating regions in the world, representing a zone where the Earth's tectonic forces are actively pulling the African continent apart. This rifting process is gradually splitting the eastern portion of Africa from the rest of the continent, eventually creating a new ocean. Recent observations have brought attention to dramatic cracks and fissures forming in the region, particularly in Ethiopia and Kenya, signaling the slow but ongoing separation of tectonic plates. The Rift and its Formation The East African Rift System, or ERs, extends over 6,000 kilometers, from the Red Sea in the north to Mozambique in the south. It is the result of the divergence between the Somali Plate and the larger Nubian Plate. This divergence creates faults, fissures, and cracks as the lithosphere stretches and thins over millions of years. As the rift widens, the Red Sea is expected to flow into the expanding valley. This will eventually result in the creation of a new ocean basin, much like the Atlantic Ocean formed when the Americas split from Africa and Europe. The process is already evident in parts of the Afar Depression, where the Earth's crust has thinned so much that magma is close to the surface causing volcanic activity and contributing to the formation of new crust. In some places, cracks and fissures have appeared suddenly, such as the large fissure in Kenya's Narok region in 2018. These events are striking reminders of the dynamic forces reshaping the continent. Geological processes occur on a time scale far beyond human lifespans. Scientists estimate it will take 5 to 10 million years for the Somali plate to completely detach from the Nubian plate. Over time, the Red Sea will expand and flow into the widening rift, eventually flooding the valley and forming a new ocean. The eastern portion of Africa, including parts of Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya, will become a separate landmass or microcontinent. The rifting process has profound implications for the region. 
geothermal energy potential is high, as the thinning crust provides access to heat from the Earth's mantle. However, the tectonic activity also increases the risks of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Understanding these changes is crucial for preparing communities and leveraging the opportunities presented by this evolving landscape. In essence, the East African Rift Valley is a window into the Earth's tectonic future, where the slow but relentless forces of plate tectonics are shaping a new world geography. If you found this topic fascinating and want to learn more about the wonders of our planet, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, My Universe EKTube. Your support helps me bring you more amazing stories about the universe, Earth, and beyond. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the birth of a new ocean? Let's discuss.